hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll show you how to draft a basic bodice pattern with a side dart all right so here is our pattern paper and we'll be cutting the front piece first and as you can see the front piece is on fold what i'll do first is to draw our um, start line to indicate a start line so i will just draw a straight line like this to indicate the start line for this pattern okay guys so this pattern is beginner friendly and we'll be making use of this in subsequent videos so watch closely uh the next thing i'll do is to uh impute all the vertical lines next all right so the first uh, vertical line measurement will be for the nipple point or what you call the boss point and for this pattern it is 10 inches from shoulder to uh, the nipple point is 10 inches so i'll go ahead and mark that out on this pattern all right so the next vertical line is the mid waist uh the waist line okay and for this uh video it's 15 inches for this pattern it's going to be 15 inches so i'll go ahead and indicate that on this pattern like so okay so the next uh, vertical line we're going to measure is the hip line okay and for this uh pattern we'll be making use of 23 for this person it's 23 so i'll go ahead and indicate that on this pattern i'll mark 23 inches all through then i'll connect it together on a straight line to indicate that next thing to do is to draft the neckline and for this pattern i'll be making use of the width of three inches which is like the standard for necklines so i'll indicate three inches for the width and for the depth i'll be making use of also three inches for the depth so i'll do that and i'll connect it using a curve ruler like so so next i would measure out the horizontal lines this start line would also serve as the shoulder line so i'll go ahead and label all the lines so that we don't get confused so that's the shoulder line here is the nipple point or what we call the bust point and the next one would be the waist line and the last line here is the hip line okay so uh the next thing we'll do right here is to start from the shoulder line and measure out what we have on the shoulder and for this uh person it is 14 inches uh divided by two that will be seven so i just marked that out all right so from this point we'll be coming down by one inch to form our shoulder slant so i'll go ahead and mark one inch downward to form the shoulder slant and next we'll connect it to the neckline to form the shoulder slant all right so the next thing to do is to measure out the ham hole by dividing the ammo by two or you can also calculate by using your bust circumference divided by six plus one and a half inches uh for this person it is eight inches the ammo is eight inches and i will you know mark that and indicate with the dots then i'll connect from the shoulder slant to that point where we marked and from this point i will draw a straight line all right so this angle is where we are going to be drafting our ham old cuff and it will also serve as the chest line so i'll go ahead and label that the chest line the next thing we'll do is draft out the ham old cuff and to do this we are going to measure out this straight line and whatever you have there you are going to divide it into two and you are going to you know mark that out i have eight here and the center line will be four so we divided it into two and what we got is four so here's the center line so try to determine the center line of the arm hole okay okay all right so the next thing we'll do is from that point we marked we are going to come out by 0 0.75 okay and we are going to connect from here to here and from there to 
the armhole okay so just watch what i do there so i'll be using this straight ruler to connect from the shoulder slant to this pointed uh part and i'll use my curve ruler to finish off uh the rest by you know connecting it using the uh curve ruler all right so here is the arm curve for the front piece and it's not the same for the back if we are drafting for the back it's not as deep as that of the front we're just going to connect right from that center of the hammer to that angle okay all right so the next thing to do is to start inserting the horizontal measurement and i'll start from the bust circumference so the quarter of your bust circumference is what you are going to indicate here all right so we'll move down to the mid waist and we are going to enter or um, insert the quarter of the waist measurement and here we are going to be using eight inches and and that is what i'll I'll put here eight inches then I indicate it then I'll move down to the hip line and insert quarter of the hip line here in this case it is 10 so I just do that I indicate with a point then next I connect it together using a straight ruler like so all right so I'm just connecting from the bust uh, point to the waistline and to the hip line all right so the next thing to do is to insert the dart line and for this we need our nipple to nipple measurement divided by two for this pattern it is eight divided by two that will be four and we are going to mark four on this bust point then we'll move to the mid waist and mark four then the hip line we are going to mark four also then we are going to connect the dot on a straight line like this all right so next we are going to come to this bust point and we are going to come down by one inch from the bust point okay come down by one inch from the bust point then we are going to move to the hip line area here and we are going to come up by two inches just watch as i do that come up from the waist uh from the hip line pardon me by two inches then we are going to go to the waist line and you know mark half inch on both sides of the line like this then we are going to connect it to form a dart. So go ahead and place your uh, ruler, your straight ruler from this end. I'll connect the dart legs together. Just watch as I do that. So the next thing to do right now is to create the side that and you are going to measure what you have on the chest line to your mid waist and we are going to divide it by two. So I'll go ahead and measure what I have here and I'll divide it by two. Okay, divide what you have there by two like that and that is where we are going to be creating the that. All right, so here is where we are going to create our side that and what i'll do is to connect that dot to this uh point like this okay so create a straight line like that and the next thing to do is to from this point you are going to come down by one inch okay so after coming down by one inch the next thing to do is to create the dot so i'll go to this point and i'll mark half inch on both sides of the straight line like so All right so what i'll do next is to connect it together to form our dart so go ahead and connect from that point to this point and from this point to this point to create your dart all right so the next thing to do is to add allowance to the pattern and i added two inches for the bust line and for the mid waist we are going to add uh more than two inches for the mid waist remember we took a dart here and together the dart is one inch okay so one inch plus the two inches allowance that would be making three inches okay so i added three inches to the mid waist and coming down to the hip line i added two inches so i'll connect the dot together like so all right so after adding two inches allowance to the side of the pattern i'm going to go ahead and add an allowance to the end of the pattern also so i added one inch allowance 
to the end of the pattern though half inch is the standard so you can add half inch instead or go ahead and add one if you like okay so here's it so next i use the curve ruler to create a kind of uh, curve around the hip area i did this to um bring out uh, some shape okay then i'll just doll it all right so the next thing to do is to return the one inch we used uh on the side that remember we drafted uh the dart here and after you know pulling in the dart we are going to be having shortage so uh to ensure that we don't have shortage we are going to return the one inch down here to the m line okay just watch as i do it so i marked one inch on the m line then i'm going to connect it right to the center in a slant uh manner here so just watch as i do it okay so this is the new m line and i'll cancel the older one so that we don't get confused all right so next i'll just doll this side using the pattern master okay and with that we are done with this uh, front piece so i'll go ahead and cut out the pattern all right so here is the front piece and i'll just indicate that on the pattern paper and we're going to be using this to uh, cut the back piece okay okay so here is the back piece and i've already indicated the zipper allowance and i'll just go ahead and insert all the vertical lines and next i placed the front piece on the back piece just to trace the uh, shoulder slant okay and next i would create the arm or curve separately for the back piece all right so i'll measure the armhole measurement divided by two and i'll indicate it then connect it on a straight line to the shoulder slant next i'll connect the dots together to form the to form a straight line and from that i'll just connect it straight out like this to form an angle and on this angle we are going to create a ammo curve but first you need to find the midpoint of the straight line and on that we are going to create the armhole curve for the back remember it's not like the front piece okay so this is how i'm going to place a curve ruler so i'll be using the pattern master to create this curve so from the midpoint of the armhole we are going to create the armhole curve and here it is so next i'll be placing the front piece on the back piece again to retrace the side okay to retrace that shape at the side so that we don't need to you know impute all the horizontal lines again so i'll use this front piece to do that okay so this is it after transferring the horizontal measurement from the front piece and the next thing to do is to add allowance to this uh, back piece remember that um, the front piece has side that making the m line a little bit uh, different from this of the from the back okay so we can't use uh, the length for the front for the back so we created another one for the back okay all right so after adding the allowance to the m line of the back the next thing to do is to um insert the dart line for the front and before i do that i'll just draw a straight line from the um, chest line i'll just connect it directly okay so next i'll just um impute the half of the nipple to nipple uh, measurement on the pattern right from the chest line to the um hem line i'll just measure that and in this case it is four so i'll go ahead and measure that and connect it together on a straight line just like we did for the front piece all right so next i'll just come to this um, chest line and i'll come down by half inch on this chest line then i'll move to the um hip line and i'll come up by two inches the hip line okay 
not the allowance okay so I'll, I'll place my tape rule on the hip line and come up by two inches okay and the next thing to do is to go on the waistline and take in half inch on both sides of the line all right and that is what i did so i'll just go ahead and connect all the dots uh, legs together to form our back dart and the next thing to do is to cinch the center back in order to eliminate bulginess at the back okay so what i did was to come in by half inch so go ahead and you know come in by half inch and from that half inch i'm going to align it towards the um, back downward like this and connect it upward like so just to align it to the center back just watch what i will do here so from that half inch i'll just place my ruler like so and connect it towards the center back so i went ahead and connect like so just to form the new center back all right so this line is a new center back okay and because we have a new center back that means we would have to adjust our zipper allowance okay all right so i went ahead and cancelled the old center back just so that we don't get confused so right now we'll create our new zipper allowance for the back all you need to do is just to repeat the same process that we did earlier on and we're just going to you know align it like that just watch as i do that so from that half inch marked i'm just going to align it all the way down all the way up here and the other one too i'm going to align it all the way down to create our new zipper allowance all right so here's the new zipper allowance okay and this process is very important to eliminate bulginess and excesses at the back biologically the back is not straight so we need to create a shape to fit in the back all right so i'll just cut out the excess here After cutting the excess at the back, I'll just connect the neckline towards the zipper area like so and I'll cut out the pattern. Alright guys, so that's it on drafting a basic body's pattern. As you can see, it's very easy and it's like a standard in pattern drafting, okay? And I'll be making use of these patterns in subsequent videos. So till I see you again, stay blessed.